Here's a quick tutorial on how to make your photo look like it's dissolving. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to go up and find your photo that you want to use and, and whatever size you're going to use. So we're going to do this one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it as a background image for the moment. So then what I want to do is I want to go over to my elements and I want to look up splatter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this splatter and I'm going to make it big. So I just want to kind of show him. So what I'm going to do is make it big over him. I'm going to duplicate it and kind of put it in different sections of maybe turn it sideways. Uh, you can use other kinds of splatters too if you want to. Maybe a thicker one because you want him to be like really whole right here. Um, let's do another one of these and take this one down and kind of, I don't want to, I'm not trying to be mean to grandma over here, but we're just going to do grandpa for the moment and go out like that. And maybe one more, let's see what we got over here in the splatter category. I'm going to kind of go this, but let's go upwards with it here and kind of get this out of the way so once we have that done what we want to do is detach that image so we want to go here detach the image from background and then we want to delete it so we're going to delete it and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our splatter that we just made and we're going to download it so download this download it and then i'm going to come over here to the background remover i use because i have the free version this is the site that I use to remove my backgrounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this file. And then I want to go to edit. Erase and restore. So what I want to do is I want to restore all the white in here. So this has this little magic auto thing that's in beta right now. So if I kind of hit all the white spots. Just a little bit like this. It'll look for them and it'll delete them. It'll restore them, excuse me. Now we're going to erase. We want to do that with the black spots. So we want to go through here, hit our black spots, and it should auto detect that I want all the little black spots erased. Now there's one little black spot in the center and a couple little ones at the end. So let's see if we can get those. And now we have what looks like almost like a burnt image in a film. So I want to download that, download that image, and then I'm going to come back over to my Canva. Let's add this page. And then what I want to do is I want to go back to my photos and use the, the couple that I had before. I want to set them to the background image. And then what I want to do is I want to put my dissolve effect on top of them. Come on. And then I will size it up to that. And there you go, dissolved effect. If you want to do it sort of kind of with the picture or another different picture as an overlay, use the picture on top and then do the same thing with the, the black on that and do the reverse in your background remover. And then you could have like maybe some flat, like a picture of flowers, like uh, what are the, whatever these are. They're not daisies. I don't know what they're like, but uh, like a picture of that over top of that. I think that would be pretty or something like that, but that'll give you the look that you're looking for. So thank you for joining me. I hope you learned a little things, something. Appreciate for stopping by. Subscribe, like, hopefully see you again. Thank you.